All right, so today I'm gonna to talk about my mini excavator that I purchased. And uh, I'm gonna kind of go through the, the operation of the mini excavator and show you what I'm doing. Right now, I'm actually in the process of digging a pond, or at least expanding what is a small pond over here. And you can see it in the background. And I'm gonna expand this area here. You can see I've been doing some digging. Obviously, it's not a huge excavator, but shoot, you know, it didn't cost much to buy this excavator and I got time to do it. it may take me a while, but I'm enjoying myself. So anyway, uh, with regard to the mini excavator here, I'm going to kind of show you how it operates. So we'll start, let's start with uh, turning it on, getting gas in it. It's actually a diesel fuel. So the diesel fuel really lets it run for a longer period of time before you have to refuel. And I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna fill this one up. You're gonna see the fuel cap is right under here. And I'm just gonna put some uh, diesel fuel in here. And this is gonna last quite a long time. Uh, I'm really impressed with diesel fuel. You can run this for quite a long time before you even have to refuel it. I would say probably, look at that, it's not even, I already, <laughs> already filled it up over what I needed to fill. Um, it just, it runs for a long time on the amount of gas. I would say that this probably holds maybe uh, about a gallon of gas. So I purchased this excavator about two months ago and I've been figuring it out. It takes a little while to get the controls right. Uh, but I pretty much have gotten everything that I need to know out of it uh, to run it efficiently. And uh, so that's the diesel fuel here. There is the hydraulic oil here, which you don't really need to do much with uh, unless you're having a hydraulic leak, uh, which I hope I don't get. But I've been using it quite a bit. I would say I've probably used it close to 100 hours now. So I'm getting some good use out of it. And uh, so you'll see over here, over here is the boom in the bucket. So the bucket gets dirty quite a bit. I sometimes have to use a shovel to get some of the muddy dirt off so that the uh, teeth here can get into the dirt and give me a good scoop. Uh, got the boom. And down here is the blade. And this actually can help to stabilize you when you're when you're operating the machine uh so you, you we're going to show you that in just a sec so here is the boom in the bucket and you're going to see that there's this part here and there's this part so these are two separate parts that move uh independently of each other and they help for you to pick up the dirt you got the bucket bucket also moves right here at the pivot and uh and so when we're coming over to the actual controls you can see in here so you got one here one on the right side then you got some controls down here we'll talk about in a sec this one here lets you move the this arm up and down okay and it moves it up and down but also it allows you to move your whole uh, compartment here this whole compartment left or right you can swivel left or right you know the tracks will stay in place at the bottom and uh, and so that's what that does so it can do left or right and the boom up and down at the front now this lever over here this one on the right this one is going to actually raise and lower this part of the boom so we already talked about this this is going to be the part that raises up and down that part of the boom and so that would be just moving it forward and back you see i just moved it see that so that is the main part boom here now when this is turned on when you move it left then that's going to actually close up the bucket and you see down here that bucket will close it'll actually close up so that you can actually keep the dirt inside the bucket when you're moving it up if you go to the right, it's gonna open the bucket. And so that's how that works there. With regard to the operation of moving the whole machine, and that is 
your belt system down here, the track system, that there, that's going to be moved by these two guys right here. So if you want to move forward, then you're going to push both forward. And because these tracks are independent, you're going to have this track is independent of the, of the right track. Left track and right track are independent of each other, and that allows you to maneuver in a very tight area. Uh, so if you push both forward, then that's going to move the whole excavator forward. It's going to run forward straight. Now, if you do just the left, then you're going to start moving to the right. You'll start moving to the right. If you pull back on the left, it's going to, it's going to swivel around to the right going backwards. With this one here, the right one, you're going to go to the left. So it's like turning left. But you can, you play back and forth with these to get yourself to maneuver them to place. This here is actually, this last one, this one's non-functioning here. That one doesn't have a use at this time. This one here, the smallest one, is actually for the blade. And that's the blade down here that we were talking about. And so that'll move it up and down. You can use it to push dirt around. You can use it to stabilize the excavator when you're in place. Because this is, especially with this one here, it's a small excavator. When you're grabbing dirt, it could move the whole excavator forward because of that force that the bucket's putting on the whole machine uh, and so you want to kind of stay in place and so the way you do that is by putting that blade on the ground and kind of lifting the whole machine up off the ground at the front right here this is the fueling gauge so when i pull this up like this that's going to allow for the fuel to uh, release and allow for me to start the engine so i'm going to go ahead and start the engine right now for you and so once this is engaged right here, then we can go ahead and start the engine. When you're getting into an excavator, you want to grab on to the bars and never step on the treads at the bottom down here. Never step on this right here, because if you step on this and you, for some reason you touch those controls, you could hurt yourself. So you want to get onto the actual platform of where you're going to be sitting and uh, grab onto the bar so you, you have a safe, secure place. And then I'm gonna step on to the platform down here and get up. Okay, at this point, I'll go ahead and start the uh, mini excavator. So right here is the ignition switch, the key. And I'm just gonna turn it to the right.
All right, so now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some digging over here and you can see how it picks up the dirt. Um, you know, a lot of times this is used for trenching. Uh, I'm using it for actually just moving dirt. And uh, in my situation where I'm actually building a pond, digging a pond, I'm actually moving this dirt away from the pond. I'm actually not putting it around the, the perimeter of the pond. I'm actually hauling it away with my ATV and a dirt cart. Uh, so it's take, it would take me a little longer than the average person just because of that. Uh, I'm not using that dirt to build up the sides. So I want to have that natural look. Uh, so anyway, so far this has been a really great excavator. I'm really happy with it. Um, doesn't use too much fuel and, uh, and it gets the job done, albeit slowly, uh, but that's okay, I don't mind that. Okay, one situation that you want to be very careful with when you're operating the mini excavator is uh, how your boom is in relation to your tracks down here. You can see there where you have the boom off to the side and then you got your tracks facing the other way. In that situation, you're, there's a possibility that you could become unbalanced when you are pulling dirt from wherever it is you're getting. Uh, you can see right there, if I were to try to pull dirt from the pit right now, there's a chance that that whole mini excavator could tip over. Um, so you wanna be really careful when you're not lined up with the tracks uh, parallel with it. This is, I would say, is perpendicular. With perpendicular like this, you have a lot of chance for getting into trouble. You definitely don't want to tip over in one of these things. They're very heavy and you could die. Uh, so if you have it parallel, you're going to have a, uh, you know, you're not going to have that balance issue like you would if you had it this way. So just be careful with that. This is right now just a precarious situation. I parked it this way just to give you, show you what, what it looks like. I even had the blade down to support, but the, all this right here is off kilter with the tracks. And so that will cause this whole thing, if, it, if it's pulling a heavy amount of dirt in there, that this whole thing could just tip right over. Just wanna be very careful on that. So here's the correct way to have your 
top part lined up with your tracks. This is the way you want it. This is the best way that you're going to prevent yourself from getting injured uh, with regard to the mini excavator tipping over. Uh, get it parallel at the bottom here and work that as much as you can. It doesn't have to be perfectly parallel. You can have it off the angle a little bit. Just know the more you have it off the angle towards perpendicular, the more of a chance that you could tip it over. Okay, so that is the video for the mini excavator. And uh, you know, it's a cheap alternative to buying one of those big excavators or even renting. You know, this cost me about $6,000 total, brand new. And uh, you know, it, it does what I need it to do. It doesn't do it as quickly as some of the bigger excavators, but you know, I have time and this is a lot of fun. Love running the excavator. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stick around for more videos. They'll be coming out every one or two weeks. You hear that? They're not too far away. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? We got like two separate coyote packs that are howling. This one started over here, and then this one this over is, here started. Stops. Yeah, I know. That's like their wake up and go call.